Hey guys, my name is Angus and today I'm going to be running you guys through how I make a track. I'm going to be showing you what I do to each element and how I build it up. If you guys don't want to hear what I make at the end, just quickly skip through 30 seconds. We're going to quickly show a little preview of what I make. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be going through now. I'm not going to go from scratch, I'm just going to go through each element and show you what I do to it. I always like to start off with the beat, so here's the kick drum. All I do is make sure that there's still a bit of kind of upper medium EQ, I want it to punch through a bit. One of the things that I really like to do is add a secondary kick, and it's kind of just like a little sub kick that's just in the background that adds a bit of groove. For example, this here, it's really simple, doesn't come in for on the floor, it just pops in and out. And then with the kick, it sounds like this. So it's really cool, it just gives a bit of groove. It's pretty subtle, but it's there. After that, I always like to get straight into the claps. With my claps, uh, one of the things that I always do is um, vary the length of each one. It sounds like this. really cool tip is to add a reverse clap, sounds like this. Once again, subtle, but it's there and I think it sounds really cool. After that, I like to get straight onto the bass, Native Instruments, their track one bass, it's really sick. Um, sounds like this. I fiddle with the oscillator, this is what it does. I figured about there, sounds cool for this track. To me, it doesn't have enough bite, so what I do is I add this plugin, it's a bit crusher, it's like a distortion, bit of drive. With the EQ, a little bit of mid, top end. And I remove all the bass because the bass can be filled in with the sub bass later. You just don't need it, it's too messy. I also add a clip distortion. This gives it lots more top end and lots of bite. So this is what it sounded like without all the plugins. Sounds sick with these though. It's just got that bite, really cuts through, got the top end. After I've done all of that, I get straight onto my sample. Sounds like this, dry. What I do, I add some simple LFO. I've just got it on the volume setting, as you can just see here. I've kept a bit of the top end, so you still get a bit of sound at the start of the phrase. And then it sounds like this. Bit of EQ, just on the top end and then compress it. Really simple, but works. After that, I like to get straight onto my sub bass. What I do with my sub bass is I try and get that Fisher feel. What Fisher does is crazy. Pretty much he just has a kick drum, really cool hi-hat, snare claps. Other than that, it's just a sub bass. And what he does is he uses pitch bend and he modulates it all. So it does stuff like this. It's subtle, sounds really cool though. It's not right in the ear, but you hear it. Through the modern day mobile phones and laptops and things like that, they don't have great speakers, so you don't get that rich, warm bass sound. So what you do is you add a bit of top end. So that's how it is originally. Just a bit of top end, lets it cut through. After that, I just add some samples and some white noise. Pretty much white noise is this kind of sound. Or like this. It's really cool, just add some interest to the track. After that, I add some really weird sound effects. This is a zipper. I also added a little gasp. Sounds like this. <gasps> Which is just cool, gives it a unique aspect. After that, I add things like boomers. 
little subtle things that just give it some texture. I use a lot of samples from Jonas Aiden. He's a really sick producer. It's just a little feature. You barely hear that sound any other time in the song, but it does this. Then other really fun things like this little sound. It just adds even more interest. After all of the drop sounds are there, I like to get straight onto the build up. With the build up, it's really simple. Just give it something unique. For example, here, this is just a little needle drop from a turntable. Really subtle, add it at the top. Straight away, I want to bring in the sample like this. I've left it dry, no LFO, no side chain. After that's had a round through, I bring in the clap. With a riser that sounds a bit like this. Then I bring in my basses, it goes. What I've also done is halfway through the build up, I brought in LFO, which is side chain over the whole of the build up. So halfway through, it suddenly goes and then moves off the beat, which adds a really cool aspect. What I also do is I add sounds like this. And then over the top, this bit here, it's just a slightly higher note without, it's just a bit boring. With just a bit of interest. Then classic four beat rest with just a couple claps, the gasp, straight into the drop. Another really cool thing to do is introduce the drop melody, which is this, just in the build up. What I've done is I've modulated it so it slightly changes as it builds up into it. Really simple, really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is what it sounds like from the top.